In a previous video, I've shown you how to record and play audio for your Xamarin Forms application. Um, but as pointed out in the comments, my Android sample was not working because there was something wrong with the permissions, which gave me the great opportunity to create this video all about Xamarin Essentials Permissions API. So in this video, we're going to see how to fix the demo from that previous video, which should appear on the screen right now. Um, so you can see what it's all about. Um, but of course, I will give you a little bit of context in this video as well. We will see how to use Xamarin Essentials to ask for runtime permissions on Android and fix our sample and record that audio on Android as well. So here is the audio sample as I left it for finished in my previous video. But um, as we know now, it was not completely finished. Um, so for Android, you will have to request runtime permission. So in the previous video, we've already seen how to do it for like the older API versions. Um, I'm not entirely sure for which um, Android version you have to request runtime permissions, but um, it is a version that is already very widely used. So it's very um, wise to implement it with the runtime request as well. Um, so, but first let's check out here in the solution in the Android project under properties. Here we have the Android manifest XML file um, and we have the graphical editor here. So if we search here, then the um, microphone, no, not the microphone. The microphone should be in here. Or is it audio? Okay, record audio. So here we go. Uh, so there's there's a couple of things that we needed to add here. Um, the record audio is, is one of them. Um, so that should be on here as well. Uh, but another thing that you need to do is request the runtime permissions. Now, to show you that, I'm going to show you also the um, Xamarin Essentials permissions APIs because checking the status of these permissions and um, doing so, and you can even request them with this, is something that is built in into Xamarin Essentials. So let's get rid of this Android manifest file. You still need to do this, by the way, so um, be sure to do that as well. Uh, if we go here into the main page and check out the um, code that actually works for us, um, you can see here on the click of a button, um, if we are already recording, then we are stopping the recording and else we are starting the recording. So what we want to do here here is check the actual permissions and see if we can actually record because um, if I'm going to do this now and actually nothing much will show up on screen but I will set a breakpoint over here um, so you can see me tapping on the button here um, now it's actually going over here um, and but what does happen is um, whenever I stop the recording, but it didn't record anything because I don't have the right permission. So it's not playing back anything um, as it should by this line. We can also see that in our um, application output right here from when it's running. Um, so you can see these kind of errors right here. Android uh, likes to put his errors in the build block right here. And you can see audio fling could not be created, status minus one, um, initialization check failed, status minus one. Um, so you can see that this didn't really work on Android. Um, so what we can do to fix that is have a look at the permissions API. So if we do xamarin.essentials actually, Let's add this to our usings right here using uh, that makes it a little bit easier. There we go. And now we should be able to just access the permissions object. Here we go. Um, and let's see what we all have here. So there is a bunch of things because these are all things that are needed to actually um, request permissions for. So we have all these identifiers basically. Uh, but what we can do is here check status async. So we can check um, actually what permission um, or what is the status of a certain permission. So if I do this and I do um, permissions dot microphone, for instance, um, we should be able to see if we actually have the permission for the microphone. And if we do this um, status is, and we should make that awaitable. So we should add the async here and then await, and then our, our the status will give us a little bit more information. So if we check uh, what that status can do, if status is, and here you can see the permission status. So um, it can be denied. So the user click no, you cannot use the microphone, um, or you can say disabled, or you can say granted or restricted or unknown. 
So these are all the statuses that um, can be used um, with these permissions. Now, per platform, uh, the permission handling is kind of different. So be sure to check out the documentation um, that is on screen and in the video description below um, for what permission is um, supported on which platform and how the reporting of the status goes per platform because it's not exactly the same on all platforms. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, but another thing we could do here with the permissions is not just check the status. So this is a nice whenever you want to, you know, show something in your UI maybe. So you want to show is um, push notifications enabled, yes, no. Um, you can check the status of the um, push notifications permissions um, and whenever it's disabled or whatever, then you can, you know, um, click on that button and make the user go to the settings app and enable the permission for that or something like that. Um, so that's that's some things that you can do. But what you can also do is uh, do a request async. So that's basically like the same call, but now we're going to actually request um, the permissions for the microphone. Now this also gives back that same status so we can also see if it's denied, if it's accepted, if it's whatever. Um, and this can only be done once. So whenever the user uh, clicks deny, then you will really have to point that user to the settings app to re-enable it again. Um, and then I think the um, permissions pop up will come again and then they have to accept. So you really have to test this and all the paths with the permissions um, that the user can take for this to work properly. Also, like I said, in the Android manifest, and this is also true for iOS and UWP, you have to declare these permissions in like the info P list or the app manifest for UWP um, for this to work. You can only request these permissions for um, the permissions that are also declared in your apps manifest. So that's also something to keep in mind. So now when we do this and we go to our status and we have status is um, granted. So actually if it's anything um, other than granted, we are just going to return. So, you know, uh, again, you should handle this very differently to make sure to set your user back to the right path. Um, but we are now go just going to say, if you did not grant any permission, we are not going to go ahead and do this. Um, apparently the stop recording and start recording are also async calls. So let's make sure to await them properly. Now for Android, there's one other thing that you need to do. So let's go over to our Android project and our main activity. Uh, for Xamarin Forms, for newer Xamarin Forms templates, this is already in place. Uh, but if you're installing essentials in like a new Xamarin Forms application that might not have this, um, then be sure that you have this check in here. Um, so the override for the on request permissions result. Uh, this will make sure that whenever a permission is requested in your Android application, that request will also be sent to like the Xamarin Essentials platform um, because this Xamarin Essentials APIs um, need the permissions for a couple of different things. And one of them is like the permissions APIs to see if the um, permission is granted or not, or should it um, ask for permissions or whatnot. So you should have this piece of code. You could basically copy and paste it in here. It's also in the documentation, but you need to have this in here in your main activity to um, uh, make sure these permissions are handled property. This is all changes in code. So we should stop our application and rerun it for a little. Um, and when we do, and when I now click that um, record button, then we will see that it will automatically ask us for the permissions of the microphone. And whenever I allow that, um, it will actually work as intended. So here we go. Our application is coming back up. Now I'm doing this on a physical device. So let's see if our audio level is okay. And whenever I press the button now, you can see it automatically uh, asks me for my permission this time. So that is good. And I'm going to say allow, um, then it's going to hit our breakpoint. Let's remove it right now. Um, and it will continue running. So now it will record whatever I say. And whenever I press the stop recording button, we will hear that again will record whatever I say. And whenever I press the stop recording button, we will hear that again. Here we go. Now our application works as intended. Um, I'm sorry I didn't test this before uh, on the Android part of this sample, but uh, at least we got it fixed. A big thank you to James who pointed out in the comments that my um, demo of the audio recording on Android wasn't working and figuring out what the problem was. Um, so thank you for doing that. You were able to uh, make me um, create this demo and show you Xamarin Essentials permissions in the process. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If there's any other issues, please let me know in the comments or you want to see anything more about these permissions. Um, I'll be happy to record you another video. Okie dokie.
Demo all fixed, we can record audio in Android, and now we also know how to handle the permissions accordingly. So that is very, very awesome. Um, if you have any more questions about the permissions, about the audio, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to create you another video. And as always, click that like button if you've liked this video, subscribe to my channel and be notified of new content automatically, automatically, all the things, and I'll be seeing you for my next video.